Raccoons are cute little creatures and they can be found all over urban America and not just urban America but all over the world. Raccoons were originally native to North America, however they can now be found worldwide especially in the United Kingdom and Germany. Raccoons have expanded so quickly because they are cunning and willing to eat just about anything. And they also have some fascinating superpowers that other animals do not have. So in today's video, we're going to go a bit deeper into what these superpowers are and how raccoons have been using that in order not just to survive, but thrive during human expansion and urbanization, whereas other creatures have fallen. First of all, raccoons can be found eating literally anything. And when we say literally anything, we mean anything, even straight up trash. This ability to consume and digest just about anything makes it quite easy for them to survive in difficult areas, especially because a, even the slightest bit of human waste they will be willing to eat. If you have some cracker crumbs on the ground, you can expect the raccoon to eat it. If you have some trash from a leftover meal, you can expect them to eat that as well. Second, raccoons are primarily nocturnal creatures, so they're typically only out at night when most humans and other creatures are asleep. And this gives them quite the advantage over us humans as they're active when you're asleep. So if they're infesting your home, going through your garbage bins or something like that, you would never even know that it's happening because most likely you'll be asleep. It also gives them the advantage to easily move around in neighborhoods and cities because with less people, less people actually notice just how many raccoons there are out there in the world. A lot of people underestimate how many raccoons there are when actually there are tons, in fact millions all over urban America, Canada, and the world that are existing in our cities with us, but people don't realize it because they're not out at night and paying attention. Now, the primary raccoon superpower is that their hands are exceptionally human-like. They can very easily pick up coins, grasp objects, pull themselves up onto things, climb things even much better than we humans could, and they have a fascinating ability to tell if something is edible or not just by touching it. So they can literally touch a tree and instantly know it's a tree, whereas with us humans, we might kind of struggle to identify what an object is when we're touching it. Raccoons, on the other hand, are pretty much able to instantly touch some snack and they instantly know it's snack, even if they're not able to see, because their night vision is surprisingly not that w good. Their hands also allow them to climb just about anything. So they can easily be found climbing up people's homes, going up trees, climbing over fences. It's absolutely insane what these creatures can do. With their hands, they've also been observed opening trash cans, breaking into fridges, and opening drawers. They're quite likely to infest people's homes because of this ability, and they're easily able to find new openings. We had uploaded a video last year, actually, of a raccoon that found a small hole in somebody's roof, and when it couldn't fit, it decided to just rip up a huge portion of the roof and find its own way inside of the home. Now, another superpower which these raccoons have, which is their primary superpower, especially when combined with these hands, is that they are surprisingly incredibly intelligent. They are literally more likely to die from an accidental car crash than any predator, one study proved. Another study proved that raccoons were better at remembering where food was located better than cats and dogs. And in fact, they performed just as well as baby kids in remembering where food was, making an adult raccoon almost as smart as apes. So this combination of intelligence and ability to grasp all kinds of things means they're easily able to infest people's homes, break into things, and get food. They're also quite cunning in avoiding us as well, especially because they're nocturnal, so many people don't even realize that they have a raccoon problem. Now all of this being said, as cute as they can be, raccoons do not make for good pets. Your typical raccoon can't be domesticated like cats or dogs, they don't feel guilt like dogs, and they have a strong desire to explore and do whatever they want. So domestication tends not to usually work out. But even more troubling is that raccoons typically carry all kinds of diseases and parasites, even the kinds that people have tried to domesticate. So for example, they are a rabies vectors species, which means that they're very, very likely to transmit rabies to you if they are to bite you. 
Besides that, the parasites can transfer to you, your kids, or your pets if they come into contact with a raccoon, which can cause some nasty problems for you down the line. So as cute as these creatures are, they can often be found infesting people's homes, breaking into trash cans, and hiding up in the attic and doing other things. So if you think that you have a wildlife or pest problem of any kind, give us a call at 855-WILDLIFE or visit us at wildlifeexteam.com and we will be sure to help you out. Thanks so much for listening and we'll talk to you later. They're out there looking for a home and they've found one, yours. They want that cozy place in your attic or under your foundation. Give them enough time and you'll be paying big bucks to fix their damage. Wildlife X Team specializes in removal and prevention of wildlife infestation, responsibly and professionally. Wildlife X Team has earned the top rated award from home advisors because they're experts at what they do. Just one call and they're gone. 855-WILDLIFE or wildlifexteam.com.